Hi, in this video we're going to take a look how to configure Virus HG plugin in Cubis Pro 9.5 on a PC. Uh, but before we go into it, uh, go into the Virus HG product page in our website and check out the MIDI configuration guide for using MIDIOX and Loop MIDI interface. Uh, that gives the best possible result for using the plugin in your DAW. Okay, so here is my QBase, and before I want, uh, before we insert any plugins, uh, I'm just going to go into the studio setup and open up the MIDI port setup. And from this view, we need to disable all of the uh, other MIDI ports uh, which are not used for a control surface or so. Basically. Uh, loop MIDI port in is what I'm using as my master keyboard so I'm just going to leave that open and then I'm going to disable all of the other ports so that they are not visible or used by the DAW and same goes with the MIDI out so loop MIDI port out is what I've routed to go virtually on my virus so I'm just going to leave this one open and uh, in audio connections I don't have any external instruments set up here but if you have uh, and if you have any additional inputs you need to use for monitoring the audio from virus you need to add them here before before doing any any other things but um, now that we've set up all of the MIDI connections and so we can add instrument track and choose the virus AG plugin from here and I'm, I just need to add one instrument and that's it. Okay and now I'm going to go into multi settings and choose the appropriate model from here which is virus C range and device ID is 1. Then I'm going to choose the physical input where the virus MIDI out is connected into. And the same goes for the MIDI out. So that's where my ports are connected and it's saying plugin is ready to go after choosing the MIDI out. Next up I'm going to go and filter out um, hardware, note, messages and aftertouch so that they won't come into the DAW from the plugin or the plugin won't process them and exit settings and obviously if you are uh, using this plugin in a new project you can just start uh, scrolling through patches by double clicking them here on the librarian and they will be sent to the selected part on uh, on the left hand side but um, I'm gonna make a new video about the librarian functions uh, a separate video so in this case I'm just gonna synchronize data from hardware which is going to get me the current uh, multi settings from my virus like so. And now if we go to different parts we can see that there's different kind of a data available. So how do you play these parts um, now that we've got the plugin here? I'm always preferring to do external MIDI tracks. So I'm just gonna call this virus -y desktop MIDI or actually IRC MIDI is good enough and then I'm going to create mm, let's say six tracks and we need to change the MIDI ports accordingly so that this is actually six five four three two and this is one okay and now if we start to play these notes, they are actually going to go into the plugin channel. 
as we can see on the plugin GUI, it is blinking the LEDs on uh, on the selected channel. But I want to change this so that the MIDI goes directly into the uh, virus, not through the plugin, but directly from the DAW. So I'm going to choose the loop uh, loop MIDI output on each of these channels. And this way the plugin is um, synchronized with the DAW, which is a lot better in my opinion. So we can still hear the sound. It's not going through the plugin and it's not going to cause any internal processing in the plugin. So this is the way to do it. If you need to add audio monitoring for your uh, virus tracks, uh, go for stereo and then choose virus C in 1 and 2 or virus C 1 and 2 like so and choose the appropriate input and then assign the output and toggle on the monitoring so that way you can add, you can add more audio tracks if you have all of the outputs in use on your virus so you can choose different output from the plugin GUI per part and they will be going into the DAW monitoring or your mixing console. Okay, I think that's it for the uh, Cubase tutorial on uh, PC. So I hope you find this tutorial useful and uh, we'll see you soon in the ne next video where we're going to take a look about the librarian functions in more advanced way. Thank you. Bye.